<clears throat> How's it going, old schoolers? You are kicking it old school on the weekly NARC with Russell JS. And I know what you're thinking. I thought I was going to be doing these videos once a week. Well, I'm kind of playing catch up in a way because when I first started doing the weekly NARC on this channel along with the regular Kick It in Old School, which by the way, I'm going to have a new video out soon on that because I got a new treasure, but that's going to be for another video. Anyway, um, this is going to be episode three of the weekly NARC. In episode two, we went over the first phase of... <clears throat> of the narcissistic relationship, the love bombing. Now what happens in love bombing is, you know, you start seeing that one person and they're showing you so much love and affection that, you know, you're instantly in your head over heels, you're instantly in love and and do this thing with my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's the light is shining on my gray up here. But um what it is, is instantly you're in love with that person. And what love bombing is, is they're smothering you with all sorts of hugs and kisses. Oh, I love you. Oh, I never thought I'd meet anybody like you. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, da, yada, da. You know, buying you, you know, like, all right, if you're, a, if you're a female, getting you all kinds of presents, buying you a box of chocolates, buying flowers. Um you know, all kinds of stuff. If you're a guy, you know, the girl is showing up at your work, bringing you lunch. You know, when you get to see her after work, she's rubbing your back and everything, cooking you dinner, and of course, getting you gifts too. But there comes that second phase of the narcissist relationship. At this point, you're on cloud nine. You're, you're, a, you're addicted to this individual. You know, you're physically, mentally, emotionally addicted to this individual. You can't get enough. You, you can't believe your, you know, your luck, your blessings. But then there comes that second phase in the narcissistic relationship. It's called gaslighting. What gaslighting is, is it's where the love bombing starts to fizzle out. Of, you know, slowly but surely it's going to fizzle out. And... You and that individual, you and the narcissist, you know, you end up arguing about stuff, you know, stupid, pointless stuff. And here you are, you're trying to settle the conflict. It's like, come on, let's talk this over. And, you know, then what they do during the gaslighting is like, they'll say, oh, you're crazy. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. And, you know, a lot of things like, you know, oh, um... You know, then they'll go ahead and give you the silent treatment. They're punishing you for no reason. Because let me tell you what they are doing, okay? And, you know, pay attention. Because I've, you see, I've dealt with many narcissistic relationships in my life, and I know what you're thinking. Russell, you know, if you've dealt with so many of them, you know, wouldn't you have learned the first time around? Well... Let me answer that question for you. Sometimes it takes, you know, a few other times to really, <clears throat> to really get what happened. Because, you know, like a lot of the times, you know, it's, you know, the long hair. See, a lot of the times, you know, like in life we have to learn about things. And it's like, you know, I want to say this. Okay, we are not victims, you know, for the moment we are victims, but once we get out of the relationship, which I will get into that in the next video, we become survivors. We're no longer victims, we're survivors of this, because we got out of it, we were strong enough to get out. But, um, but you know, gaslighting is they're making fun of you, they're constantly being mean to you and, you know, all sorts of stuff, accusing you of stupid crap like cheating and, you know, cheating on them. I mean, the thing about narcissists is the narcissist is a very insecure, immature adult, okay? 
think of it as dealing with a an overgrown toddler. You know how toddlers have to have attention all the time. You know, up until they're like, say, four or five years old, they have to have that attention 24-7. And if they don't, they throw temper tantrums, they scream, they yell, they cry. You know, because, oh, they didn't get to, you didn't give them a cookie, you didn't buy them a new toy, you know, stuff like that. And what happens is, you see, eh, you know what? <laughs> I know this is comic relief right here with my hair. No, I'm not cutting my hair. You know what? I'm at the point, I'm at that point in my life where I just don't care anymore, you know? I don't care what people think about me. They like me. Cool. They don't. Hey, no sweat on my back. It's their loss. But, um, you know, and that's part of the whole thing, you know, with narcissists, too. But, like, um, but, yeah, you get accused of cheating, and you're accused of stealing, and all kinds of stupid stuff that these people think of. And, you know, the, you know, they'll accuse you of being on drugs. Well, I got news for you. Whatever they accuse you of, they're doing it themselves. Yeah. What I was just about to get into, as far as this gaslighting goes, here's what's happening. They're trying to make you crazy. They're trying to get you so, mm, to where you'll snap. And then they could go ahead and tell people, you know, how crazy you are. And those people are going to look at them. They're flying monkeys. They're minions. They're going to say, oh, you could do much better than him or her. You know, you could do much better... You know, we never really liked him to, him or her to begin with. And then what happens is they're looked at as the victim. And meanwhile, say you're at work and they're at home, right? While you're at work and, you know, you're stressing out over how you can make things better, you know, get things back the way they were when you were in the love bombing phase, is they're on, you know, they're on dating apps. They're on dating web websites on the computer, on the internet. They're getting ready to find new supply. Okay, so far they'll have one person ready. And here's the thing, behind your back, they're already seeing this person. Okay, they're already meeting them for lunch, meeting up at a motel or a hotel, you know, meeting up at his place or her place. And, you know, he or she is saying, yeah, you know, I'm going to be getting out of this pretty soon because he's a loser or she's batshit crazy. And yes, I cussed. I cussed for the first time on one of these videos. It might not, might, might be the first time and probably won't be the last. Only in these videos though. But, um, but yeah, you see, during this phase in the relationship, while you're thinking to yourself, you know, I can't lose this. You know, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just a phase and blah, blah, blah. It's no phase. This is how they really are. See, they'll go ahead and they'll they'll give googly... Like, if you guys are out to dinner, you know, say it's a girl, you know, she'll go ahead. Your woman will go ahead and give googly eyes to the bartender or the waiter or something like that. And if you're a woman... He'll, he'll go ahead and kind of wink at the barmaid or the waitress, you know. He'll be, you know, I mean, here's the thing, like, you know, the guys could be at a, the guy narcissist could be at a strip club and the female narcissist will be on the dating sites looking for new supply because you're not, in their eyes, you're not enough. And what happens is they're seeing those people already behind your back. And that's not the only person they're seeing behind your back. They got others lined up that they're grooming because they got to get this harem closet going. And what happens is they're just, they're in a line. They're, they're waiting in line for their turn, basically. Like when you used to stay in line in school, waiting for a drink from the water fountain after recess. And what's happening is you don't know. You're, you're about ready to be discarded if you've never been in a narcissistic relationship before or, you know, you're currently in one. If you've already seen the last video on this subject that I've been bringing up, 
you know, if you haven't seen it yet, go back to that video, episode one, the love bombing phase. Phase one, love bombing. Uh, episode two, I meant. Phase one, love bombing. If you feel that you're in this relationship now, I can't tell you how to live your life, okay? All I could do is hand you that deflated raft and tell you to inflate it, and you go on your own. You know, what you do from here on out is up to you. I can't, you know, say, get away from them. That's up to you. But your best bet is to get get out of that before you are discarded. Discard them before they can discard you. And, because here's the thing. In many ways, you could feel bad for the new supply, or you may not. Because the new supply can be somebody that, you know, wants to get rid of you. Wants to get you out of the uh, narcissist's life. You know, because here's the thing, especially if the narcissist is a female, she's going ahead and telling the new supply how you cheat on her. You've threatened to beat her up. You've threatened to kill her. All this crazy stuff. You even raped her <clears throat> because she wouldn't give you sex and you went ahead and took it. She will lie to these people. She will lie to her minions, the flying monkeys, and... He'll lie, and, you know, ladies, empath females, who are in relationships with narcissistic guys, they will lie to the new supply, their new female companion, that you're batshit crazy how you cheat on them. You've cheated on them, and, you know, you almost you almost had them put in jail and all this other crap accused them of lying of raping you they'll say all kinds of things i mean these narcissists they are great manipulators okay they're slick they're con artists and like i said you know you'd probably ask me you know how is it that i didn't learn from the last few times again sometimes you got to really keep your guard up because the thing is, they get craftier and craftier every day with their, with their lies and their cons. And they'll do what they have to do. They'll, have to, they'll do what they have to do to lure you in. There are some, there are some narcissists out there, they take one look at me nowadays, and they could tell, yeah, um, yeah, he's... You know, he's not going to fall for any BS that I put out. So, yeah, I'm not going to even try him. I almost got tried on New Year's Eve. I did. And that's a story I'm, I want to, I can't wait to share with you. I'll tell you all about it. But if you are new to the channel also, you know, feel free to hit a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the box below. And check out all the other videos I have. Like I said, I'm doing two video shows now on this channel. Because I was contemplating starting up a secondary channel. But you know what? I figure, why not do... You know, why not go ahead and I could... You know, other than doing the kicking it old school videos with the... You know, the old school games and movies and music. I could talk... I could do videos about, you know, helping you cope with narcissistic abuse. And other other video platforms as well on this channel but yeah you know if you're new to the channel subscribe feel free to subscribe hit a like and ring the bell for notification too and leave a comment in the box below <clears throat> but um but yeah you see the gaslighting the accusations the treating you bad you know like if you're a guy you know, the girlfriend, your girlfriend or your wife will make fun of, say, your genitals. Like, say, they'll say that, oh, he's got a small penis, you know. And if you're a female, you know, if you have flaws to you, like, say, you got a little bit of a, you know, a belly. Or, you know, your breasts, you know, they'll do, they'll say what they have to, you know, make fun of you. And I gotta tell each and every one of you. Each and any, I want to say this right now. You all are very awesome. I want to thank, now I got 45 subscribers. 
yeah, I mean, I've had this channel up for going on five years, and so far only got 45, but you know what? 45 is better than zero. And I want to take the time to thank the 45 subscribers that, you know, wanted to, you know, took your time to check out what I had going on on the channel <clears throat> in the last five years. And there's going to be other content. Like I said, I got a new treasure, an old school bad Oscar to, you know, that I'm going to put out there. But right now, I want to give you a bad Oscar on narcissists. Always remember one thing, people. The narcissist goes ahead and says, accuses you of cheating or drinking or doing drugs. Always remember one thing. It is possible that he is out down at the local strip club, okay, stuffing $20 bills down some pretty stripper's G-string and probably figuring out a way how to you know, take her back to a motel room and have a little fun behind your back. And guys, <clears throat> if the women are accusing you of cheating and they're trying to look through your phone for phone numbers of girls, bear in mind this. Ask them to let you see their cell phone, see their contacts, and see their texts to see if they're getting any kind of flirty texts from other men. Because let me tell you what, odds are they're messing around on you. And this is part of the whole gaslighting thing. Insecurities. I mean, these people, they are such pathological liars that they believe they're, they lie to themselves and they believe themselves. I mean, they are... <laughs> I don't want to say anything bad about people, but, you know... I'm sorry, I have to say this. They're idiots, okay? They believe, they lie so much that they lie to themselves. They kid themselves. They fool themselves. And, you know, you can't say nothing to them. And, you know, it's best to go through the motions. Don't refer to them as narcissists. And another thing I do highly don't recommend, if you've gone out of your way for this one particular individual, do not remind them, okay? Because they'll throw this big hissy fit of a tantrum okay and they'll be like oh throw it in my face why don't you I am grateful I've been there before well that just ra that just about wraps it up about nars you know the phase two of narcissistic abuse and narcissistic behavior um as I go ahead and make these videos, I encourage you, like I've said before, to leave comments down the box. Tell me your stories. You know, we could swap stories. Let's, we'll just say war stories, okay? We'll just call them, like, war stories. Like, because if you're a survivor of this like I am, then just like me, you've been to war many times. You're a soldier in this. And those of you who think they might be going through a narcissistic relationship, right now you're fighting in a war that you don't know about. So, I mean, you know, you could ask me questions, you know, in the comments down, I will, I mean, let me put it this way, a, a comment, I'll, I will, you know, you ask me a question about things, I will respond to you. Okay, I will answer back. You know, tell me about, you know, I will give advice. You know, ask me, feel free, ask me questions. Okay, I will give advice, everything. But this is, right now, it's a little late. I have to go ahead and get ready for bed because I do have a full-time Monday through Friday job that I go to. And I got to go get ready for bed so I can get up in the morning and go to my job. And that's another thing that most narcissists won't do. <laughs> but this is your old pal, Russell J.S. I want to wish you all, once again, thank you, you 45 subscribers, thank you. I want to wish you all Godspeed, as I normally do in all my videos. And, of course, in my videos, may the Force be with you, may God be with you, always. Namaste. Don't forget how awesome you are. 
all you survivors, all you people out there. You guys are friggin' awesome. So, you know, help out the channel, tell your friends, everything. Now, I wish you all Godspeed. May the Force be with you. May God be with you. And once again, namaste. I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> See you in the next video when we do Phase 3, which is the discard.